Hey, it's Diane Lee from Teach Pre-K. Today I want to show you some of my favorite winter literacy activities. These come from a bunch of my resources in my Teachers Pay Teachers store called Teach Pre-K. I will leave links um, to every one of those resources plus any of the little materials that you might need to um, complete these little centers and activities. But I'm gonna start with how I always set up my classroom at the beginning of any unit. I think vocabulary is really important for preschool and pre-K kids. So I use a lot of picture vocabulary things all over my room. I have a, a tent pocket chart that I have up and it changes with every theme and the kids go over and look at the pictures and they can figure out what the word is. So for winter, I have winter activities like skiing, ice skating, hat, coat, boots, mittens, earmuffs, snowflake, snowman, and so on and so on. So I choose uh, which ones I put in my pocket chart and those are there for the kids to look at and kind of absorb that winter vocabulary. And then I have posters that I set up on a bulletin board in my classroom. So I have winter is snowmen, snow angels, snowboarding, sledding, ah, snowball fights, um, on and on. So there's all these things in there, snowflakes, winter is cold. So all of our vocabulary that has to do with winter and snow. Um, also, some of my favorite activities for literacy in winter um, are like simple letter matching. So here we have uppercase letters and a lowercase letter with a little snowman. So this is just a, an uppercase letter clip activity. So we've got our lowercase c. The kids just take a closed pin and they would clip the correct uppercase letter. And here is a which is a little bit harder and they would clip the uppercase a. So that is one really simple activity that the kids can do um, for, you know, literacy standards. Also, my pre-K kids are just really starting rhyming games. So I've got a rhyme and match game. There are 20 of these matching pairs in all. So it's a little rhyme and match game. So there's rain, rhymes with train, and can, rhymes with man. So what I do is I put these, um, half of them, so one set of words out in an array, they flip a card. So if they found man, they would look at the card space up in an array and they would find the one that matches can. Or you can play, you know, a harder game that would take more time, kind of like a memory game if you wanted. So that is a good thing. Um, I've got a beginning sounds game. I have every letter of the alphabet, these little snowball buckets with the upper and lower case letters. I have stapled them to a paper sack. So you can kind of see how I stapled that. So what I do is I open these and I put these around my rug. And then we have these little snowballs with pictures on them. So this is, they say the word, you know, this is a mummy, letter M. They put it in the snowball bucket. Moon, mitten, mouse, so each letter has four snowballs that have the beginning sound pictures on them to go with the letters. Another thing that I always, always, always have with my um, lesson plans are these little foldable books. They start out flat. This one is called Winter is Fun. Throwing snowballs is fun. Sledding is fun. Skiing is fun. Skating is fun. You fold it up after you've colored it and you have a little book that the kids can take home that has all of those little things. So it's kind of an emergent reader because you've got your sight word is and your CBC word fun. Of course, um, 
like throwing snowballs. That's kind of a lot to say, but they can at least get the is fun part. Another thing I love, love, love are these little seek and finds. And you can put these in um, kind of those dry erase pouches if you want, or you can print them out for the kids to take home. So this has mittens and it says mark the letter up there with lowercase letters. This one has uppercase letters and included in my five day lesson plan, you would have a set of cards. I have uppercase letter cards and lowercase letter cards. What I like to do is give the kids a dauber and when they pull up, like let's say letter A, they would mark the letter A with a dauber. My pre-K kids really, really love that. For my preschool kids who are a little younger, I pick the letters that we've already learned so far this year and use it as a little review and kind of to reinforce what we've been learning during the year. I wouldn't do all 26 letters, but my pre-K, they are ready for all 26 letters. So I would definitely use all of those with them. Um, another thing I really, really like to do for literacy for um, my classes during winter is I like to do a lot of things with books. There's a lot of really cute winter books that I like. Um, one of my favorite books for winter is Snowmen at Night. And the reason I love this so much is um, the writer and illustrators, they live in the same neighborhood as my school. So a lot of the kids, they don't know them personally, but they'll recognize the types of houses because it looks like their neighborhood. It's really kind of awesome. And also um, these books have all those cool kid, uh, hidden pictures. You gotta find the bunny, find the mouse, all that stuff. So they can really dive into this. And plus it's just a super cute story. So for this book, um, I actually have a close read and story stretcher resource for this with a ton of great activities. I'm just gonna show you a few of my favorites. Um, one is kind of like a little journal page. So for my pre-K kids, it would just be, you know, draw a picture what my snowman does at night. But maybe for kindergarten, and even actually my pre-K could kind of do this at this point, you know, what does my snowman do at night? He jump ropes. This is what my snowman does at night. And they can write the word or they can even write a sentence if they are at that level. So that is that activity. Um, another snowman at night activity that I really, really like is it's kind of a sort. So we read the book and I bring the book over into the center. So I usually read the book in whole group. Then I bring it over into the center. So I have what snowmen uh, don't do at night and what they do at night. And then we lay these out. These are like these little mats and we have these cards and one is play guitar and you would put it on do they or don't they. And sometimes we have to look through the book. So we know they scoop ice cream. So that would be on what do snowmen do? That would go on the do mat. Um, do they play hockey? No, they don't. So that would go on the don't um, the don't mat. So it really makes us dive into the story for a second or maybe even a third time, depending on how many of these activities I'm doing. And the kids really, really love it. And then it gives them another chance to find all those cute hidden pictures and stuff. But um, my kids really like those. Anything that makes them revisit a book that they like is fantastic. So another fun um, book activity that I have. I love the book, The Snowy Day. Um, and I have a close read and story stretcher for this, but in my lesson plan, I'm gonna show you this activity that I do in my five day lesson plan. I read The Snowy Day, um, and there is a Snowy Day video on Amazon, um, but don't make the mistake of showing it, it's Christmas. So if you're doing winter in December, it's, you know, that's kind of good. But if not, it does do a lot of what the book does, but it has a Christmas story to it. So I read um, the Snowy Day book, then the kids come to the center and I ask them, you know, what would you do on a snowy day? And I will write, or they will write, you know, I would go sledding, I would have a snowball fight, so I cut these um, in fourths, so they just have this little section. But then, and this is a little labor intensive, but it ends up being so cute, I love it. Um, I cut out uh, the little kid from the story, um, some snow and um, they glue the snow on a piece of blue paper they put the little boy on the paper and then we have white paint and they just 
finger print little um the snowflakes falling but i also have added some really cute uh snowflake glitter to this too and we make a little bulletin board with what this picture what they would do on a snowy day next to it and in the middle i have what would you do on a snowy day and a picture of the book cover so um that is one of my all-time favorites it's super super cute it makes a really cute uh, hallway bulletin board. I have a big bulletin board in my classroom too, and I like to read the book Snowballs. It's a fantastic book. It talks about getting good stuff together, and they make a little snowman family. We don't make a full snowman. I have them make a snowman head. And this one, we have used popcorn, beans, buttons, and pom-poms. For this one, I've used some macaroni, popcorn, raisins, a pom-pom, some markers, and um, for the hair, we have used like some tissue squares kind of crumpled up. So just on a plain old cheap paper plate, they make their little snowball snowman head. And we add this little uh, picture of the book cover, and we put these little their little snowman heads around it and it makes a really cute bulletin board and it kind of reminds us of the story that we read all throughout our um, unit for winter. Um, another thing that I have, and I think this is in my differentiated centers like rhyming um, little uh, lesson. So I have got two mats again. I have rhyme with the smiley snowman, not a rhyme with my sad snowman. And then I have picture cards with word pairs. And the kids will say the word pair. So sun, bun, do those rhyme? Yes, they rhyme. So we would put them with our happy rhyming snowman. Same with car, star, clock, sock. I have tons of these. I think I have maybe 25, 30 picture cards on here. But then we have saw lemon. That doesn't rhyme, so we would put that in our um, not a rhyme mat. And the kids love just like testing their rhyming capabilities. Um, another fun literacy activity that's kind of crafty that I like to do is for my three-year-olds, we will do the first letter of their name and I will write it in a Sharpie on a piece of construction paper. And then I have all these white um, paper squares, which is just like paper scraps or some printer paper that I've just cut into strips and cut into squares. You can even have the kids do this the day before for some fine motor work if you want. And then they just glue it onto their first letter. It just reinforces what the first letter of their name is. We use white crayon to draw some snowflakes around it if they want. Just another good fine motor activity. Um, for my pre-K, we can actually do their whole names. This year, instead of the squares, I think I'm going to punch out circles so they look like snowballs. And we'll do our letters and our names with that. And that's really fun. For pre-K, I might just cut bigger circles out and they might just do their name in snowballs. Um, and this is coming to one of my favorite, favorite, favorite activities. I think I might put this as a single center in my Teachers Pay Teacher store. It's so great. There's two things you can do. It's a hat and mitten letter and sound match. So first you've got the mittens. So I've got uppercase B and lowercase B. For my preschoolers, what I would do is I would give them, you know, either the uppercase or the lowercase letter. I would have the opposite kind of in an array around my rug. My rug has lowercase letters around it, so I'd probably put the lowercase letters on there and just place them on those circles that they match with. Um, so then what they would do when they find their match is they're going to go and get one of these little linking clips and they have linked their upper and lower case letters together. So that is kind of a level one activity. But if you want to do something a little bit more challenging, maybe for your pre-K or kindergarten kids, we have got a beginning sound picture. This one is boots. And what I would do is have these links already in there. And what the kids need to do then is find both the upper case and the lower case mittens that match the hat, which of course for boots, 
would be letter B. Now you don't have to do every single letter of the alphabet. You can do the letters you've learned so far this year or letters that you have figured out that they need to work on due to assessments and things that you've done and that you've noticed through the year. But this is another fantastic literacy activity that I really like. This is, um, I think it's a winter differentiated literacy centers and activities um, beginning sounds. And I'll put a link to this and these awesome little linky things in my description. Um, those are just some of my favorite literacy activities for the winter season. I will also be showing you some of my crafts, which would probably include the snowy day and the snowballs craft and um, some math and fine motor activities as well. So thanks so much for listening. I hope your winter is cozy and warm.